All right, everybody, welcome back to day two of the Imagine Extreme Barcelona. We are here at the Parc del Forum, and today we're going to start our action off at the street park. It is the World Street Finals, the Scooter Street Park Men's Final coming up here. Troy Mannering on the mic with you, and Scooter Brad in the house checking the weather here. Temperature, it's 22 degrees. It's warm. It feels warmer than yesterday, though, because it's a little bit more muggy out. There's a little more humidity in the air. Eight riders. Each rider is going to get one run, 45 seconds long. And at the end, the bangers, like you said, Scooter Brad is uh, they get, when they get a chance uh, so to go for their runs. best trick. Yeah, they take three runs of their best trick because obviously in street riding, there's a lot harder tricks to do on the bangers, on the rails. They're hard to, you know, achieve. So they get three runs of the banger, which is sick. We're going to see some crazy moves getting thrown down in those banger sessions. Have you been on that park down there? I haven't been on this one. I've been on the park, uh, the center park, but not the street park yet. I do want to take a crack at it, though. It, like, it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. It uh, looks very smooth. Rails are everywhere. I've heard a lot about the about the rails. A lot of people have been needing to wax the bottom plates of their decks to just keep that slide going. But the park looks really great. The banks, you know, there's got quarters. The curved rail at the back is something interesting that not many people have been touching today. But I know that Richard Zelinka is going to crack some crazy stuff on there. So All right. I'm very excited. There is our start list, by the way. And it's in reverse order of the qualifying ranking. So Jake Sorensen from the USA qualified top spot. He'll be able to watch everybody else do their yes, run. Sir and have to mentally adjust. The problem is, is the guys only have one full chance in a 45 second run to put together a clean run and then it all comes down to whether or not they can throw out a really good banger absolutely, best trick. Absolutely, and the banger is gonna be the one that sets everybody aside from everybody else. Like, as you said, with the reverse order, it's all a mind game at this point. You got Flavio Pizzeni coming up in the second place and then other riders such as, like I said, Richard Zelinka, and even Luis Barrios, Timon Kuntz, a lot of people to watch out here for today. It's going to be a very interesting competition. All right, well, will Jake Sorensen be able to hold on to that top spot? We'll see as we're going to get underway here with the Scooter Street Park men's final. It is the, the WSF, the first of its kind. We didn't have a street comp last year, I don't believe, not on live stream anyway. Nope. It's good to see so many riders out here in Barcelona. Huge, huge huge number of scooters mm. here oh absolutely. unbelievable and the fans for uh, the scoot i mean we saw the scoot junior on the central park here just a little while ago we were watching off off air and uh, the kids were rocking it and there was a huge audience there it was awesome absolutely the uh the crowd is packed that's for sure i cannot wait for the scooter final which will be later on tonight in the central park that's the isa world final for scootering which is more so the park competition rather than this one that we're about to see is the street. Two different sections of riding, all still one and the same. We all just love to scoot, and that's what we're here to do this weekend. What distinguishes street and park, though? Well, street is more rails. You just take a look at the park, and it explains it all in itself. You know, you got the rails, you got the ledges, a lot of grinds, a lot of a different style. You got all the whips down there from anything from Ethic to Envy to Proto. A lot of different styles out here today. You got Mango Riders up there. I think one of the crowd favorites today is definitely between Dean Turchio and Jonathan Peroni. Obviously, Flavio Pizzeni in there too. These are all three riders that ride for the same, same brands, all hang out all year long, and all they ride is street. That's all they know. They live, breathe, eat, sleep, street. So I don't know who's going to take it out today. I have absolutely no idea, but I'm very excited to find out. Always a good thing to check out. Absolutely. One of the best events I've ever been to. I look forward to this every single year. This is my second consecutive year hosting the stream, so thank you so much for having me, obviously. And uh, I cannot wait to come back again and again and again. Didin Turcho on screen, representing Envy like half the other riders in this uh, division here. The Envy boys are very strong in the street game. You got Richard Zelinka currently on screen. One of the favorites to actually compete very highly in the uh, park finals, but you have the Mad Gear rider. This is Timon Kuntz from Germany all the way out there. There's Jonathan Peroni again on the Envy team. There's the third and final, Flavio Pizzeni. A lot of Europeans in the mix. I think, uh, I think Jake is the only American. It's about to get underway. The anticipation is building by the second. Auguste Pelot from France will be the first to drop, remember. It's a single run of 45 seconds for each of these riders. Then after that, three attempts at a best trick, and uh, that's where they can really gain points. And 50% of your score comes from the best trick. So, uh, yeah. So it makes it very crucial. It's, it's a critical point. A very exactly. critical point, yes. August Pallod just came out of uh, Feast not too long ago, the Feast competition. He did quite well, actually, in the... Uh, 
in the feast comp. Did a very crazy trick on an up rail. Something like a board lock 540. I'm not sure if he's going to be sending that in this park, but we're about to find out. Oh, maybe right away, not. <laughs> Front side lip to double heel for his first trick. Coming through 270 tooth chink to lip slide. Rocking. Here we go, up rail. No, oh, there was the board lock 360. Might have been going for the five. Tooth chink, ice chink over. Back through a lot of uh, technicality in this guy's riding. Four pegs just rocking them all. There's another tooth grind right there. Straight on the front peg. Up rail again. Oh! Missing it, going down. Hey, if you're going to go down, go down big, though. you got to go down big. A lot of the street riders, they take some heavy stacks on the rails. I would not be surprised if we saw a few ribbers today, but there's a nice toothpick on the extendo box. There's a board to hanger, just shifting that back wheel right up against the rail. They're going to be pretty tight with the timing as well. If the guy doesn't have his uh, run complete in the 45 seconds, that uh, last trick isn't going to count as far as I understand. A board lock 360 heel to lip, but still going up the rail. He was going to try chink it again on the way up. I've never seen this trick ever attempted on such a rail. Let's see. Second attempt. Going for something different there. With the fee block three. Did that in his run. He's got one more attempt at this maneuver before we move on to our next rider here today. Taking one look at it, straight down. Minusing the heel web, he was going for the board lock, 270 lip. Could not quite stick it though. It's insane, the technicality of the tricks he's exactly, got Exactly, that's doing what I'm there. saying. It's with madness. the four pegs as well, like they're just, all these guys with the big four pegs and the squared decks, they're all just going to lock in those grinds and really just shift around. It's the very minor details of street riding that people just don't take notice of. Like that one there, the 270 tooth chink. That's where he chinks the front peg whilst also spinning and right into a backside lip slide all the way down. Did he to show next up? Yes, sir. From Paris, France. Now, this guy's known for doing 50 50 front flips at certain skate parks. So I don't know what his bang is going to be. I saw him do something very, very crazy in the semifinal. But no spoilers. You're going to have to stick around and find <laughs> out. Let's go. Dedean Tercho with the 50 to front scoop. My mind is blown already. With the bar spin to front slide sugar. 50-50 transferring the front oh, board slide. Wow. Hitting both rails in one consecutive movement. Look at this. Oh my goodness, backside hurricane to 180 Bry. Coming around with 14 seconds remaining on the clock. Going He's got a lot in there already with that time. Back 50, front side three, straight up the rail. Missing his connection there, but staying on. There goes the timer and it's time for the ender. 270 lip. I think there might have been a boss spin in there. Yeah, our cameraman got a little bit zealous with his zoom. <laughs> it tends to happen. That was a tooth chink to back lip, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been an over tooth. These things are hard to spot with such little peg connections. Back oh. 50. I swear he was going for the front flip just there not gripping enough on those pegs to get the connection with the front flip. Not sure where he's going to go after that because there is a ledge literally right behind it, a ledge lip. That's a tough situation for him. He could have been going for something like a, a 50 front flip to another grind. Who knows? This was nice. That fit, yeah, very nice. 50 to transfer front board. I love when riders connect two different rails in the same maneuver. It looks amazing. I mean, I, I can't even begin to tell you how impressive it is, like, being able to call those tricks out like that, Brad, because it happens so fast and so furiously, it's nuts. And I'm uh, I'm really happy that you're here with me, to be <laughs> you gotta honest. you got to have a trained eye. I'm definitely oh, still going to get some of them wrong, that's for sure. There's a lot of uh, technicalities in uh, grinds on scooters. There's so many of them, and there's so many combinations. And, and it's happened so fast in the last so four or five years. It's Absolutely. insane. The street come up has definitely been like a very fast paced movement. People are just adding and adding and adding and adding. Here we go, Richard Zelinka. Start from the extension. One of the favorites to win here today, without a doubt. 
Whip, bar spin, drop in, first trick on the rail, forward to backside lip as he comes through into the curve. Bar, back lip, 180, almost holding it together, but getting snaked by the cameraman, I'm thinking. Yeah. He kind of gave the cameraman the, uh, the, the stink eye. He did. He definitely he did. There's again. a 50 50 bar spin across the extended transfer. Very nice backside lip slide along that flat rail. It's a long one. Bar back lip, not quite getting on it. He did land that in his semi with absolute precision. And I think he might have lost his composure at this point. What has he got on this tall rail? 270 lip. Whoa, good catch. Really holding on to it. Good catch. Oh my God. He really had to commit to the landing on that one. Now it's time for the enders. And I think if he sticks to what he was doing in semis, he might be going back to that curved rail once again. Going for the curved rail front side. A bar. Fakey hurricane. They could call it fakey board. Like I said, so many technicalities. Coming up on it front side once again. Getting a little bit more direction on the entry. Okay, if you're him, do you go for that one more time, seeing as it's not working, to try and fight it away, or do you figure out something else just to get the points? Because yeah. at this point, he's got That's two knots in the hot. It the, looks like his score. heart is set. He's definitely going for it again. There it is. He's going all out or nothing. Yeah, oh. Almost holding onto it. I was going to say, I thought he was going for the front side 270 back into the quarter pipe. Just could not get it, and I know he's talking about the cameraman right yeah, there. Yeah, you can he's see He's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> yeah. That 50-50 bar spin on the transfer, very nice. Very smooth entry on the 50-50. Here's that 270 lip where you can see he barely holds on with that back wheel just kind of dug in the front and just hoped to dear God he didn't slip. All right, next up, Luis Barrios, a local boy from Barcelona, so he'll have the fans on his side. Luis Barrios came out very strong in the semis, halfway up the qualification list. A very solid run. Started to see what he's going to put together right here. I think my problem would be keeping all the tricks straight in my head, assuming I could do them at all. Absolutely. That's the thing too. Street riding, it takes so much, uh, so much of your time and practice and mindset. It's all learning new things, learning new tricks, learning new names. Triple heel whip, first trick over the gap, front slide, lip slide, busting in, and the whip out. The guys get counted down for dabbing on a landing, putting a foot Definitely, down? Definitely, absolutely, yeah. yep. If you dab the toes, even the heels, if you still stick on it, then not too many deductions. There's a front 50 to tail whip on the down rail, a very precise move there. When you miss a front 50, it's never good. Nose maniac across the platform. Backside, feeble on the quarter pipe, turning back around. Bob, backside, lip across the long rail. 10 seconds left on the clock. He's going for the curve rail, backside, lip. Oh. Just not hanging onto it. A very precise move there, especially on a curved rail. He scratched the last three seconds on that run, and uh, now he'll go for his bangers. It is time. Heel whip, front side lip. Just catching his uh, catching his fender there, and going down. He's going to take another run at this. There it is. The heel whip, front lip, to 180 downside attempt. He's going to hit this one more time. I think he's going to be sticking to the same maneuver. All right, crossing the fingers for him on this At one. At his trick here. Front side heel oh. to lip. Could not quite stick it. A heel whip to front lip. Very difficult trick as the scooter is moving in the same direction as the grind. So when you whip it, you got to catch it, stop it. And, and then balance the grind. the grind out. And yeah. then balance the grind, absolutely. And because here's another thing with scootering. When you do a grind on a scooter compared to a skateboard, there's about half the contact width against the rail, and it's metal to metal. So if it's waxed up, you know that boy's going to This was something I was going to ask you about because the, the skateboard boys, they're waxing the rails and the ledges. Yeah. And you're you, and this is something that just popped in my head earlier. The scooter guys are waxing the bottom of their boards. They're not actually putting wax on the ledges. So they like to just wax their own deck to their okay. sort of liking. Personally, for me, I would just go up and wax a rail and potentially the bottom of the deck. There's a board backslide lip to Timon tail with Kunze. from Timon Kuntz. This guy had a very smooth run in semis. Very good style. Here we go. Backside lipping right across the quarter pipe there. Frontside feeble truck driver. That's a 360 and a bar spin. There's a deck tap to front board, something you don't really see. 
a backflip 360, finger whipping over the bank to bank, and then into the down rail with a teaser oh. front board to whip. Nice. You might not have noticed, but he actually chinked the upward facing pole of the rail before hitting that front board. 50 50 to 450 on the extension with a double heel. A flawless run, and now time for the banger. Can picture a pretty solid score coming through for Timon Kuntz with a run like that. Very, very nice. Clean, consistent, good style, good pace. Didin has the lead at the moment with 76.5, but he didn't do all three of his uh, banger tricks. I think he hurt his shoulder. Hopefully he's okay. Here it is, the 50-50-4-50 bar spin. The same as semis, but he stuck it first, Toz, which is great. So he can relax a little bit and uh, maybe pick up two other ones. Might get him some more points if he Absolutely. gets a, you know, a really heavy one. Consistency is key. Absolutely. And that's something that he needed to do to get it out of the way. Perfection. Get himself a solid landing. 270. Bar spin to backside lip. Very technical trick. You got to pull up, get over that rail throw a bar and then spot the rail for the landing, particularly blind as well. You can't really see what's going on when you're doing a 270 right onto a rail. Such a thin target to land on. He's been very, very solid. I don't think I've seen him step off the he board once in this run. He has not stepped off the board once. Tucking in his shirt here. Front feeble 270 tail whip to bar spin. Just going down <laughs> there. Shiznit. I think I jinxed him. You might have done. Sorry, buddy. Well, two out of three. That's better than anyone in the last three attempts. However, was the trick difficulty good enough? So the points haven't been added in, as far as I understand, for the additional three tricks. We'll have to wait and see what the judges get the final points in there. Jonathan Peroni. Backslide lip 270 bar rewind first trick. Missed whatever that was. Cameraman found somebody in the audience who liked it. <laughs> Backside Smith dropping in, keeping that pace going. Finger heel double, double whip from board side to back it up. Man's got me stuttering. Bar spin over the bank to bank, through into the down rail. Nope. 360 downhill bar spin on the steps. I think it's the first time I've seen somebody hit the stairs today instead of the rail. There's a 270 downhill thing. That trick is crazy. Flare whip bar spin, the first flip we've seen in the street finals. When man can, one does. Cutting to the replay, here's the flare tail whip bar spin. My, my, my. Very nice landing. Rocking them four pegs as well. Is that unusual? Not really. It uh, depends on the deck, depends on the rider. A lot of the Europeans love to ride the pegs, but uh, some scooters nowadays are actually designed to be squared at the back so you don't need to run pegs, but the Europeans just like them. It's all a personal preference thing, that's for sure. I like pegs. 180 whip front scoot over the rail, going to fakie and just biting the fender there, I'm assuming. He's got that wheel guard on. If his foot reaches over that, in fakie especially, he's definitely going down. All rocking the NB gear. There's a whip front skew wow. whip over the rail. An interesting choice. <laughs> that was politically correct saying uh, I wouldn't have done it myself. Ooh, I would have done that myself. Fakey Bry. It's a uh, Feeb 180 Fakey to Fakey Hot Bry. And that's going to be his three attempts gone. Jonathan Peroni. Checking this out once again. The whip front scoot tail whip. I say that as it's more of a uh, class as a park trick, but each to their own. Respect. It was very clean. Very nice. 85-50. That puts him in top spot. Nice. Taking a look at the scoring, there must be, like you said, preliminaries as some are looking quite low still. All right, here we go. Hopping up the hubba to deck touch, or deck grab, downside heel to back lip, front side tooth chink to front lip, full whip, tail whip and bossman at the same time over the bank to bank. Flavia Pseni with the bar, front side hurricane. 
Cab here. Slipping out, unfortunately. Going for the ice pick there, or the 5-0, rather. Bob backslide lip stall. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Jinx. Ah. Uh. You're the only other person I know over here that has that game in mind. <laughs> it was a 270 bar to back lip. 270 bar lip. Sliding out again, unfortunately. All right, three bangers coming up here. He's taking his breather. Flavio Pazenti. One of Europe's greatest street riders. 50-50 to heel. I think he might have been looking at the transfer there. Let's take a look and see. Winding up for the 50-50. Not uh, quite biting that front wheel on. You can see him looking at it, though. You, you can, can definitely see him looking, see him at, looking it. at it. Unfortunately, just clipping his top wheel on top of the rail instead of catching that peg, he's just going to run straight back at it. Backslide 50. Looking at the transfer. Going oh. for the 180 to fakey. He's Hurricane. got one clean exit out of that. I mean, it's not what he wanted, but at least he didn't have a zero pointer. Yes, absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. Backslide 50 to 180 fakey Hurricane. There's that downhill, absolutely precision. He's got the precise entry. That's what we like to see. All right, next up, Jake Sorensen from the USA. Number one qualifier, ready to show everybody what he's made of. One of the greatest street riders of all time, straight out of the USA. It is Jake Sorensen, representing Proto. Taking a look at the scoot, straight Proto, tilt, and just absolutely thrashed. Look yeah. At it. It's beat to bits. Thrash. They all are. All the street riders are all bashed from the shreds. Here we go. Jake Sorensen dropping in. Whipping up the stair set. Jeez. That's like an eight set if I remember correctly. Bar spinning over the bank to bank. Front side nose blunt. Deck grab drop. My goodness. Throwing some creativity in the mix. Straight into the downhill to backslide lip on the down rail. The big down rail. Straight back through into the long boy. No handed <laughs> board slide. Wow. One of his signature maneuvers. The whip over the bank to bank as it comes through against the quarter pipe. Going to that curve rail. Front side board slide across. Not quite holding onto it. Such a difficult trick, especially on a curve. There's no doubt about it. Going for that 180 fakie crook. Not quite holding onto it, though. We've got three tricks remaining for him. That's time and regulation. Now he's got to pull it together with two Smiths. Mistakes at the end of his run there. There's a whip Manny up, going towards the hubba. Backside crook down the hubba from Manuel. Precision. No wind-up, just did it first try. No break. He said, no, nah, I'm going to keep going. Watch me. Cheeky Bossman. What does he got next? Winding up for the bigger rail. No? Fakey. Cab fakie oh. lip down with. <laughs> My goodness, going for that cab straight onto the rail. I think he wants that one again, maybe. Absolutely. Into that backslide lip slide, going for the down whip out. That tail whip's got to be super quick, or it just ain't holding on to the ground. Here we go. 180 fakie. Whipping into. Oh, oh, wow. My God. What a finish. Instead of whipping out, he just whipped straight into it. Oh my gosh, Jake Sorensen, everybody. The crowd is freaking out. That is something you just do not see. That was pretty awesome. That was absolutely wild. Taking a look at the replay again. Here's that no-handed board slide. He let go of it before he even was on the rail. A lot of people do this. They just jump on and then they let go, but no, nah, he's just prepared. Downside whip into lip, and he just stuck it with the oldest steez in the world. Manny to backside crook. Getting that wheel right out there, getting them the connection. And that's uh, him being our last rider. Oh, 75 to 5. I guess those two step offs in his run put him in third place. They've Definitely. still got to calculate all of the uh, extra scores there. The three I think, to I the think end, Richard actually. Zelinka is going for another run due to the cameraman's interference. Ah, okay. Which I feel like is a fair point. Absolutely. Yeah. There was a mishap like this in the qualifier yesterday for ISA, which was not argued. However, I did support the argument. 18 years of age, hometown Prague. Here we go, dropping in. Whip to bar spin. Board, back lip. Straight pumping. Into the curve. 
The backside board still holding on, not going into the quarter pipe, but still held on. As he comes right through with the back 50. Slipping a foot there. I think he was going for something other than just a bar spin. Front board whip on the long rail. Back into the curb with the bar backside lip. Still not clutching it up. He's going to be disappointed with that. Frontside Phoebe, Manny, down and across the park. Frontside Salad on the extendo ledge. Coming back through into the large rail. 270 lip. Dab in the foot once again. His time is up. Keeping his bangers? Good question. I was just going to ask you that if they are going to let him keep the bangers from the earlier run or. You'll have to forgive our lack of knowledge, everybody. These things happen in competition. It's always unpredictable. However, it is always fun to watch. Had a lot of changes this weekend uh, due to timing as well. Sixth place for that run, 40. So I don't know. <laughs> he might have wanted to keep that first run points. Like we said, Jonathan Baroni first place. To Dean Tercho, second. Jake Sorensen, third. Followed by Auguste Pelord, Timon Kuntz, Richard Zelinka, Luis Barrios, and Flavio Pazenti. Oh, there you go. That's it. There's no shifting going on during the actual scoring. So that's the uh, the final scores with Jonathan Peroni, 85-5 on top. Dedean, two Frenchmen, one and two on the podium. But look at the difference in uh, scoring between the top and the second. It's uh, nine points. That's pretty significant. It's a significant uh, win for Jonathan Peroni here today. Jake Sorensen coming in in third, the only American almost at the top of the food chain here. I think had he not fallen off on those last two tricks mm. in his uh, mm. timed run, probably would have been on top. That run was amazing. Definitely, definitely. I'm, I'm disappointed for Luis Barrios. I think he had a, uh, a a solid run. Timon Kuntz as well. Timon had a had a very, very solid run. Clean, consistent, good style. I wish uh, their scores had been a little bit higher, but hey, this is a competition. It's always difficult to pick a winner. It was a uh, Scooter Street Park men's final. Witnessed here at the Imagine Extreme Barcelona. Definitely stick around for the rest of the content on offer this evening, everybody. The ISA World Final for scootering is absolutely going to go off. It's the event of the season in scootering, and I cannot wait to be back on air for this event. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us for the Street Park Final for the Scoot. And Scooter Brad, always good to have somebody here to keep me honest and uh, have fun out there. Inline men's final coming up. Don't go away. We'll be back. Imagine Extreme Barcelona.